Today I want to talk about quantize. You may not be familiar with that word. It refers to adjusting the timing, particularly with MIDI instruments. I'll record some MIDI instruments using the TTS-1 software synth, because most versions of Sonar have this TTS-1. My first MIDI track is on channel 1, and I have a piano sound here I'd like to use. I'll use the search function. There it is. So I'll arm this track for recording, and I want to set the tempo to 95. So then I'll record a small piece for the purpose of discussing timing. Now if I tried it many times, maybe I could get it tighter. My timing's not so bad, but it's sure not perfect. To get the full idea of how important timing and quantize is, I'm going to go on ahead and record a bass part here before we discuss quantize. Again, I'll call up a sound and just play a basic bass part along with this. There, I hit a wrong note on the end, and I held it out long anyway, because I can still use that. With MIDI, we can adjust that note after. So I'll fix that mistake. And that will work just fine. Now let's move on and add some drums to this. I've set this track on channel 10, and we have the TTS drum sounds here. So we'll play some drums, starting with the kick. Then I'll add the snare drum. and an open and closed hi-hat. Then I'll grab a couple of cymbals. Those will work. Alright, let's learn another new word. Can you say cacophony? Now, I'm being sarcastic there, but seriously, the definition of a cacophony is a bunch of noises playing together at the same time. The timing of each of my performances was off a bit, and by the time you add up all those mistakes together, you have a real mess. Now let's do a quantize and then we'll compare. I hope you can hear the difference. Everything's now perfectly in time. Let me show you why. Quantize adjusts your timing by sliding the notes in one direction or the other to the nearest exact beat. You can see how my individual notes did not line up with the grid lines. So now if I zoom in good and close, you'll be able to see the notes move when I hit the quantize. So here it is with the quantize, and here without. With quantize, without. With, without. It certainly makes a dramatic difference. Now quantize can be set to many different resolutions, because all different types of music you will play would have different beats to them. 
I was quantizing here to a straight 16th beat. Let me show you why. Let's look at this first bar on the bass line. Since there's only four beats in this bar, I can quantize this to quarter. It's just one, two, three, four. I only quantized the start time. You can also quantize the duration so that it would fill in the holes. Here you can select note duration. And on a quarter resolution, you'll see how that fills up the gaps. Keep in mind, you might not want that to happen. I know I don't. I like that gap in between. Now let's look at the piano. Here's where we'll need a quantize of 16th. Because if you count it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You'll see that I didn't hit any resolution finer than a 16th. So a 16th quantize fixes that 100%. So what happens if we quantize that to a quarter? If you don't know what quantize to use, don't be afraid to try a few. Then undo and try again. I generally try and work it out mathematically in my head, but sometimes you just have to guess. And in the end, your ear will tell you when it's right. I know you'll agree, having the timing tight is very important. Good luck with quantize.